In what was one of the most heartbreaking chapters of China's Spring Festival travel history, 400,000 people found themselves trapped at a Guangxi train station for a staggering 11 days in late January 2008. As people were jubilant to rushing home for the Lunar New Year festivities, the station was plunged into chaos of tears and shouts. Just the day before, a devastating blizzard had crippled the power grid, paralyzing the Beijing Guangzhou Railway and leaving countless unknowing travelers continuing to flood the station. Then, as icing on an already bitter cake, a freezing rain began to fall, prompting fears of a potential stampede. Swiftly, the government deployed soldiers and police officers to maintain order. Upon their arrival, officers were greeted with a shock inside the Guangzhou station, designed for 40,000, swelled with tenfold its capacity. By the next day, food supplies from travelers were depleted. Local vendors, seeing opportunity in desperation, hiked their prices. Instant noodles sold for 100 yuan, and supplies quickly vanished. Thankfully, compassionate citizens nearby brought food and blankets, though it was but a drop in the bucket for the sea of 400,000 stranded souls. The train station's broadcasts pleaded for people to celebrate the new year locally, but the pull of home was too strong, and not even the lack of access to restrooms could sway the determined crowd. The prolonged exposure to the elements standing cold and hungry in the rain resulted in feverish and fainting individuals. Children were lifted above the crowds towards safety. <laughs> As tensions mounted, scuffles broke out, fences were breached, and through it all, the police and soldiers stood firm a human barricade against the crush, enduring insults and blows without a word or a stroke in retaliation. Then, on the eighth day, just as hope winged thin, a broadcast rippled through the crowds the power grid workers had poked day and night, and the railway was set to reopen. Three days later, on the 28th day of the last lunar month at 3 m., the sound of a train whistle signified more than just the departure, it signified the arrival of hope. Tears were shed, the long way was over, and home was on the horizon. But another challenge loomed how to board 400,000 people safely, avoiding the risks of a stampede. The officers banded, splitting the crowds into manageable groups, ensuring a safe passage onto the trains. After 11 harrowing days, 400,000 people were finally en route to reunite with their families. The blizzard of 2008 brought devastation across 20 provinces in China, costing the economy 151.6 billion yuan and claiming the lives of three workers tasked with power line repairs. In its aftermath, China entered an era of unprecedented infrastructure development. A high-speed railway network blossomed, enveloping the nation in under two years and backing the title of the world's largest. Today, as we traverse the extensive web of roads and railways that make our homework journeys possible, we remember each one stands testament to the spirit of homecoming.